Hi everyone, welcome to my guide for the Stygimort Warrior and the 48 man raid Delubrum Regine Savage. This is an optional boss after defeating Trinity Seeker that can only be challenged by one player. As soon as one player stands on the teleporter, it will deactivate, separating them from the rest of the raid who will go on to fight Dahu. Defeating the warrior rewards the winner with a valuable buff which gives them double damage and HP for the remainder of the raid. Additionally, it rewards the winner with some rare fragments and the whole party with an additional chest upon defeating the next boss. As the player in your group who will take on the stool, you need to come equipped with some additional actions. Lost Perception and Lost Dispel are both required to complete the duel, and I recommend taking some potion kits as the damage can add up in this fight. I also recommend having a Re-Razor active, as if you die in the duel, you will be trapped with no one able to access the area to resurrect you. Equip Lost Perception before even taking the teleporter, as after taking it there will be a trap immediately in front of you in the hallway, which you will need to reveal and avoid. You need to pull the boss either before Dahu or around the same time, so communicate with your team and use the countdown to coordinate your pulls. Do not use sprint when pulling the boss, as it will be very valuable for a mechanic early in the fight. A death wall appears immediately upon pulling the boss, so be well within the arena. The boss opens with Surge of Vigor, giving it a damage buff which must be dispelled immediately. You do have time to use a damage action before overwriting it with Dispel if you want to. This is followed up by Unrelenting Charge, a triple knockback ability which does high damage. Use your knockback immunity to avoid being knocked into the wall. After a few auto attacks, the boss will jump to the north edge of the arena and cast Entrapment, knocking you to the south edge and filling the arena with explosive traps. It will then start casting Lethal Blow, a long cast which will hit everywhere in front of the boss and detonate all explosive traps. To survive, you must use Lost Perception to reveal the maze of traps, and navigate behind the boss before his cast is complete. The Enrage on this boss is extremely easy with some Rays of Valor, so I recommend disregarding damage here entirely, and focusing solely on completing the mechanic. Use Sprint to navigate faster, as there can be some patterns that involve running a very long way, and make sure not to be too close to the traps when they detonate. Next, the boss will use Vicious Swipe, a large point blank AoE followed immediately by a knockback. Position yourself to run into the AoE after the cast finishes, and get knocked into a safe area. After this, the boss will use Focus Trevor, targeting each quadrant of the arena with an AoE one at a time. Dodge from the fourth AoE into the first one after it goes off, and then make your way behind the boss to avoid Forceful Strike. Next begins the most difficult mechanic of the fight, inescapable entrapment. Stand in the centre of the arena to avoid the traps, and then start using Lost Perception to reveal them. Reveal every trap you can, as they will be important for the next mechanic. In this phase, as well as explosive traps, there will also be frog traps, an ice trap, and a mini trap. Each of these traps is required to solve unique mechanics in this phase, depending on what the boss casts next. Timing here can be quite tight, so I recommend using Sprint again, and percepting once in the centre, and then once towards each corner of the arena, as the trap you need can be hidden right in the corner. If the boss casts Surging Flames, stand on the Ice Trap to survive the incoming fire attack. If the boss casts Withering Curse, stand on the Mini Trap to avoid the boss's pull-in and one-shot combo. After resolving Inescapable Entrapment, the boss will use Surge of Vigor again, and you must dispel the damage buff again. Next is another Focus Tremor, but this time it creates smaller AoEs, which start in the centre and then rotate around the edge of the arena. Stand in the second AoE to bait the boss's Conal attack, and then run around him to avoid the Tremors and his spinning Conal AoEs.
There's also another vicious swipe here, so run out to an area where the tremors have already exploded, and then run in to get knocked back into a safe corner. As a DPS player, once you're more comfortable with the fight, the boss will probably die around this point. Continuing on, there will be a second round of inescapable entrapment, which is handled almost the same as previously, except with two trap mechanics instead of just one. The boss can now also cast Surging Flood, which is avoided by standing on a frog trap. Surging Flood is always immediately followed by Leaping Spark, which deals high damage and will one-shot you if you're still a frog. There are two methods to resolve this safely. Either you can run into the frog trap early enough to be changed back shortly after Surging Flood, or you can run into a second frog trap after Surging Flood to change back immediately. Following the second round of traps, the boss will cast Coerce, giving the player a forced march debuff, which will force the player to walk in the direction indicated when it expires. Another Surge of Vigor will be cast again and need to be dispelled. The boss will then repeat the same sequence as the first focus tremor, however you must now account for your forced march while dodging the tremors. This is followed by another surge of vigor to the spell, and another unrelenting charge to use your knockback immunity on, followed by another vicious swipe. If the boss isn't dead by this point, it will cast Sun's Ire, which is its enrage. After defeating the warrior, collect your loot and interact with the statue to get your buff. Make sure to use Perception on the way to the teleporter to prevent an embarrassing death. If you're running low on inventory space, Lost Mimic can be a good way to get your damaging actions back with less to carry. That's all for this guide, I hope this video helped and wish you good luck with your raids. If there's another fight you'd like to see a guide for, leave a comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like it, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.